Hi, I'm Charlie Moore, president of Visual Apex, and this is the new Vapex Tension Electric Home Theater Screen. Vapex Tension Electric Home Theater screens come in diagonal dimensions of 92, 100, 106, and 120 inches at amazingly affordable prices. Dedicated for home theater rooms, these 16x9 Tension Cinema White screens are remarkably reflective and run quietly with a tubular motor. All Vapex electric screens assemble in minutes and come with an unbeatable three-year warranty. Here are a few quick tips on getting your screen up and running. The Vapex electric screen comes with a sturdy aluminum case for easy wall or ceiling mounting. Please make sure you unscrew the shipping braces on the back of the case before mounting. Mount your L brackets into your wall studs or any other type of sturdy surface. When securely mounted, the screen can be easily adjusted on the L brackets for more flexibility. Before adjusting the height of your screen, make sure it's completely lowered. In your box you'll find the yellow adjustment wand. On the upper right corner of your screen box, you'll find two adjustment holes labeled A and B. B adjusts the 18 inches of extra fabric to your desired height. Insert your wand into the hole labeled B at a slight angle. Rotate your wand clockwise towards the negative symbol to reduce the screen height. Using your remote, bring the screen up until there's no more black border on the top. Now press the down button on your remote and discover your new adjusted screen height. Repeat these steps if you need the screen even higher. If you've gone too high, rotate the wand counterclockwise in the direction of the plus symbol to lower the screen. All Vapex electric screens come with a wireless 12 volt trigger. Press the synchronizing button on the right end of the screen. A red light will start flashing on the bottom right corner of your screen box. Using the small yellow wand, press into the hole into your trigger remote. This will create a blue flashing light on the trigger remote. And the red light on the screen will cease flashing and remain steady. Finally, Plug the trigger into the projector's trigger port. You may need to turn on the trigger port of the projector by using the projector's menu features. When using the projector's remote, the screen is now synchronized to drop when the projector is turned on and to close when it's turned off. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Charlie Moore. Thanks for watching.